People often misinterpret the e-collar and attribute it more to the primitive use of a shock collar to scare the dog or to stop a behavior. That's not what we're looking for. We use the tool to communicate with the dog to redirect their attention back to us for command. The one that we use is not a shock collar like a taser or something like that, but it has a stimulation like a TENS unit that physical therapists use. We find what we call the dog's range, and that's a level that gets their attention, like I were to tap someone on the shoulder. Also, the collars that we use have 100 or more settings, so we can really fine tune that. We want the dog to understand what's right and what's wrong, and ultimately learn to make the best decision for themselves. We do this with e-collar conditioning and using lots of other treats, praise. We communicate to dogs in a way that they understand. We get asked all the time if all dogs are trainable, and the answer is yes, they are. We had a client that had adopted a dog and called us two days after. This owner was thinking about getting rid of her dog and this dog was really aggressive. She thought there was no hope. We used an e-collar on the initial session and within 45 minutes, the dog had completely calmed down. The dog was very scared of stairs and we were able to get the dog to go up and down the stairs on the first appointment. Now at five sessions, he's an entirely different dog than that first day. There is absolutely no sign of aggression in that dog anymore. It was the most amazing thing to go into someone's home and think that their dog is its lost cause and turn it to a member of the family. For me, one of the most rewarding parts of this is helping and saving those dogs, empowering the owner to know how to handle it and work through it. We get to do that every day.